As the years have gone on, and as we have become further and further politically divided as a nation, I've noticed this strange thing beginning to occur, where instead of the legal system applying laws evenly across the board, we've been noticing some rulings that are very obviously politically motivated, where it would be a ruling that does absolutely nothing for one side, where if the other side had done it, they would be throwing the book at them, or vice versa. And the, a case that I saw this week exemplifies this perfectly. There was a guy on Twitter who last year effectively put a hit out on ICE agents shortly after uh, there was a, a, a hacking or some sort of information breach where there was basically every ICE agent in the nation uh, had their name, address, phone number released on the internet. The tweet, and I'm going to have a screen cap of it so that you can see it to see that it is his actual genuine tweet, was, and I quote verbatim, I am broke, but I will scrounge and literally give $500 to anyone who kills an ICE agent. At me seriously, who else can pledge, get in on this, let's make this work. Now, there will be those that argue that this was a joke. His lawyer is not one of those people. In court, it was never presented that this was a joke. Rather, that because this was said on Twitter, that he should be protected by First Amendment. And I am very much for the protection of the First Amendment. I very much believe in the First Amendment that you should be able to say anything, that you should be able to uh, present anything uh, and let the court of public opinions determine whether that is uh, good or bad. Except when you are literally conspiring to kill someone, as this guy was. Th that's the key difference here. I actually view literal, not, not joking, not jesting, literal threats of death as where free speech should end. And that was the case here. His lawyer never made an argument that this was a joke. His lawyer argued that because free speech exists that he should be allowed to say this. And the, the jury agreed. This was tried in Boston, so it, that may have had something to do with it. But it's so weird to me that this ruling even happened like this. I, I have... We live in a world where people have been jailed for jokes, not like, oh, well, you can interpret this as a joke. I mean, actual, literal jokes, where a dude got jailed for fucking uh, teaching a, uh, a dog how to raise its paw, uh, where another dude is uh, in a $35,000 lawsuit for making a joke about a guy, and yet... This exists. What the fuck is going on here? This is blatant selective ruling of the most insulting degree. And I hear this all the time. Oh, actions have consequences. First of all, no shit, Sherlock. Every action has a consequence. My view is that it should be an equal consequence, not an outlandish consequence. Let me give you an example. You come to my face and you call me stupid. I have a right to say, you're stupid back. You come to my face and you say I'm stupid, and then I punch you. I should get arrested for that. That That's the difference here. This The, the consequence should be equal or lesser to the, uh, the action that was done to deserve said consequence. That's the part that people seem to forget when they say actions have consequences. The, it's absolutely nuts that this exists. And yet I can guarantee, I can absolutely guarantee 
if it's someone who is a bit more on the conservative side that says something like this, they will be jailed without question. I don't know if it's because th this guy is very obviously on the left, the, the jury agreed with him that they don't like ICE, whatever it is, that should not have an influence. It should be, was this a threat? Yes. Okay, go to jail. Was this a conspiracy to, uh, to try and commit a murder? I actually view yes. I don't believe that this was a joke considering how seriously this was said and that it was never argued in court that it was a joke, that leads me to believe that, yes, this was genuinely serious, so you should be in jail. It, it's, it's baffling that we exist in a world where now the law enforcement is being applied politically-mindedly as well. You want to create this animosity and this hatred in society for one side or the other. This is how you just embolden it and strengthen it. This isn't how you bring people together. And that's what I want. I want everyone to come together to realize just how insane all of this is and stop it. And But then I'm a centrist, so I'm always about bringing people together and trying to find some sort of sane middle common ground rather than just have two sides bickering at each other and getting nothing done. <sighs> I would like to believe that this will at least be used to further strengthen the free speech laws, but let's be real here, no, it won't. This will only be used whenever they damn well want it to be used for the correct people, and then this will be ignored every time it's anyone right of Mao Zedong. I, I, just, I just don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. It is, we live in such a weird society now, and... I really hope that things finally stop and get more back to a, a center civilized point rather than this pure pole bickering. But then I actually believe in peace and harmony and I guess that makes me a dirty right winger for some odd reason. We're, we live in strange times, I'm telling you. This is my math machine just calling for some semblance of sanity in a society that I'm pretty sure has forgotten what sanity looks like. Peace out.